in 1916, Mother Adelaide came to Sylvania and founded this beautiful campus. She always stressed that if you were surrounded by beauty, beauty became part of you inside, and that was a way to connect with our God. We know her fondly as Mother Mary Adelaide. She was an artist herself. She's, of course, the founder of our congregation. And she also had a, she was skilled in architecture, so she had a good sense of combining beauty with uh, the structuring of a building. She traveled to California, and she looked at those early missions that were founded by Brother Junipero Serra, and she fell in love with the style. It's very similar to the Spanish architecture that exists in the city of Assisi, the place where St. Francis and Claire were born. So the California mission style involves a couple of things, arches, cloister walks, which we're sitting on now, and red tile roofs. The cloister walks, there are external porticos or porches that run along the buildings, um, supported by arches. In the early days of the community, it was a good place for the sisters to pray. St. Clair Hall was erected in 1929, and it was the first permanent building built for the Sisters of St. Francis. And um, Mother Adelaide wanted to be as true as she possibly could be to that original experience of the California missions. And so she told the bricklayers that they should not be so perfect in the laying of the brick. When you look at the walls, you see the bricks in a ca kind of cattywampus formation, but it not only reminds us of the original style, but it sort of reminds us, I think, that everything in life is not so perfect and that you can still have this beautiful structure and it's just a little bit different. At the far end of the Dunscotus Library is a, a great window, a great stained glass window, and in the center of it is the passage from Corinthians. Mother Adelaide loved that passage, and she surrounded that with uh, the coat of arms of three of the major universities at the time, Bologna, Paris, and Oxford. And she added a fourth, which was Krakow. In a sense, it sort of tells the story of Mother Adelaide herself and all that was important to her. While you're in the library to study, you're completely surrounded, not only by the beauty of the structure, but the beauty of the artwork as well. When I had the opportunity to travel to Italy, we were, came into the city of Assisi and we were being led by a priest, a Franciscan friar, and we were on the fourth floor of the Casa Papa Giovanni, which looks over the Umbrian Valley, where the sunflowers, for fields and fields of sunflowers were in bloom. And he opened his arms to us as the sun rose behind him and said, welcome home. And that's how it felt. And that's why this place feels like home.